Okay, question five is about temperature and pressure in gases. A gas is heated in a container which has a constant volume. Uh, so obviously the gas can't expand. The particles in the gas, well, well the particles themselves are not going to expand. They're talking about the particles in the gas. So particles do not expand. Uh, and even the gas itself can't expand because it's at a constant volume. Um, they definitely are not going to move closer together and by heating a gas you're going to increase their average speed so what we're looking at is hit the walls of the container harder i.e. they hit them with a bigger force describe what happens to the average kinetic energy of particles as the temperature decreases from 10 kelvin towards 0 kelvin so as we go from 10 kelvin towards 0 kelvin we'll describe what happens to the average kinetic energy well the average kinetic energy decreases one more and then at zero Kelvin there is no kinetic energy or no motion at all second mark next one you're going to convert a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius into Kelvin well you're going to add 273 and that's 300 Kelvin and finally part three that's like C part two for worth three marks. The gas in the cylinder has a pressure of 210 kilopascals at a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Calculate the new pressure when the temperature of the gas has risen to 81 degrees. Well, hopefully you realized you were going to be using pressure law. And if we plug our numbers in here, what we've got to make sure of though is that we do it in Kelvin. So these two temperatures here must be in Kelvin. So that gives us 210 kilopascals uh, at 300 Kelvin. We don't have to worry about putting the kilopascals into pascals because uh, it's going to affect both sides equally. So the only thing that we have to worry about a lot in terms of units is that we have our temperature in Kelvin. So T1 in Kelvin, 27 degrees, is 300 Kelvin. Uh, and this is 354. And therefore our new pressure is going to be 210 over 300 times 354, which is about 248 kilopascals. Okay, so one mark is going to come from converting into Kelvin, uh, one from showing your workings, and one for your answer.